Prasan, good morning to you. I warmly welcome you all for this English class of today. Dear children, how are you? Doing fine? Safe at home? Your inmates are fine? Right children, preparing your lessons? Hope you are writing the test then and there. Prepare. We do not know how we will be facing the situations in future. What will be happening in future? We are not aware of. We do not know at all. Because you know now that uh, CBSC for CBSC the government has announced to take that uh, ninth, tenth, ninth, and. Uh, 11th mark. See, in that case, who thinks that that 9th mark is important? No. Anyway, it is all pass. That's what we have been thinking so far. What is the meaning of, what is the use of that 9th mark? See, but 9th mark is taken is going to they are going to take it into consideration so whenever we say something we just just take it seriously and write it okay and uh, see one one small incident i will tell you one famous man was uh, this his name is i think One philosopher, Tolstoy, I think, he was uh, put in prison. He was put in prison for some political issue, right? And uh, the court has given the verdict that he has to be he is to be executed. That is, he is sentenced to death. And uh, the next day, he is going to be prosecuted. And uh, the previous day, now just imagine that state of mind of this man. How he will be thinking? What is his state of mind? Just tomorrow, this by this time, he is going to be killed, sentenced to death by hanging. And uh, he was in a Maybe you can just imagine tomorrow, for example, if you see a snake, how our state of mind will be, right? If you see that, uh, if you just imagine that there's fire in our place, how we will be? But here he is going to die. He is very sure of it. And uh, at that time, a neighbor who is there in the prison, he is playing a piano. He is playing a piano. This Thorstaika asked him to give that, to teach him to play piano. Just help him to play piano. That man was really wondered. He was wonderstruck. And he asked him, see, tomorrow you are going to die. Tomorrow is your last day. What is the use of you studying this instrument at the last moment? Tomorrow, by this time, you will be no more. And what is the use of this study? He asked. For that, you know, this man said, See, what you have said is true. I won't be available tomorrow. I will be going away from this world. But the thing is, I will just go from this world with the satisfaction that I have learned one more thing in my life. I will just move away from this world with the satisfaction that I have learned one more thing in my life. Right? So, it, you take a decision. Each and every day, you must learn one new thing in your life. Right? So, when you grow up, you will get plenty of new uh, things to tackle the situation in future. Right? To tackle the situation in future. Right children? Now let us come back to our lesson. So 
page number page number 2 from the beginning i'm reading second Next morning, coming out of our hotel, we saw our friends bend over shoe shine boxes beside the fountain in the public square doing brisk businesses. We watched for a mom few moments, then as trade slackened, we went over. They greeted us with friendly faces. So we met them in a, as a cobbler. These both, both the boys were there acting as a cobbler in a busy area. I thought you picked fruit for a living, I said. We do many things, sir, uh, Nicola answered seriously. He glanced at us hopefully. Often we show visitors through the town, to Juliet's tomb and other places of interest. All right, I smiled. You take us along. So the other asked the children to take them to Juliet's tomb, which is a place worth seeing by the side of this area. There we stopped it. As we made the rounds, my interest was again provoked by their remarkable demeanor. They were childish enough and in many ways quite artless. Jacopo was lively as a squirrel. Ah, here only we stop, just like a squirrel. So, I was really, what I can say, influenced, provoked by the remarkable appearance, Dimanuar means appearance and behavior, the wonderful appearance of the small boys and their briskness, their behavior, the way they invite people, all this astonish the other. Sometimes they were childish, since they are small children, they behave foolishly and in many ways they are innocent. Artless means innocent also. So sometimes they, are, they behave foolishly, sometimes they are innocent also. Jacopo was lively as a squirrel. Here we start. I told you, see, you might have watched uh, squirrels. I told you to watch each and every object of creations of God, every object of nature. Have you ever watched the creations of God? Have you looked up at the sky and watched the sun, moon, stars at night, around seven o'clock at night? If you just uh, stand in one peaceful area and look up at the sky, you can see the stars just jumping from one place to another, the beautiful uh, stars shining, how they look, how they are. You may have so many questions in your mind. Ask questions and find out an answer for that question in your life. Right? Have you ever noticed hens in your life? Do you have hens at home? See, cock and hens, small chicken will be there. At home. Sometimes you may be having at home, otherwise uh, you might have seen at least. If you have not seen, you can after you watch. See, if you put some food to the, give some food to the hens, cock, one cock is there, one or two cock, some hens, nearly ten hens and uh, ten chickens. Just imagine, just think, think as uh, it is uh, not a real thing but just think that there is a this type of things in a house that is hen, cock, chicken and you are just giving some grains to it and have you ever watched how the how the, the chicken, hens eat the food have you ever watched it can you tell me how it is that is you know the cock will not eat the food the cock will not eat the food it will wait for the hen to complete the food, to eat the food. 
till then it will be just watching around whether any enemies are coming to take the food any other insect uh, birds comes here to take the food it will be protecting the uh, hen and automatically the chicken will be eating one or two that is there and um, see it is the responsibility of the cock to take care of the hen this is god's what is we can say god's in god's creation this is the schedule which is followed she take our life in our families also we have father mother and children right yes how we behave in this um, a mother will be cooking mother cooks the food and uh, in in many cows i don't know in some houses it will be but in most of the houses the father asks the food that is give lunch or give dinner or something the mother takes most of the food and she gives without asking whether there is remaining for children whether there is remaining for the mother he will be just swallowing lava club club of everything and finishing but not nowadays in olden days it is a custom father will never ask that mother whether there is food for you and your and my our children she will he will never ask he will just find satisfaction with uh, what he has got the remaining by cleaning that vessels with some water or some uh, grains of uh, food the mother satisfies herself and go to sleep this is what mostly happens in olden days but there is nowadays there is no scarcity for food in our families since the government is giving full of uh, food to us that is food uh, the rice free of for free of cost so i don't think that there is much problem nowadays in our family anyway so in god's creation the father has to take care of the family and uh, the mother mother has to take care of the but you know we are, are we following this are we following this have you ever noticed this uh, ants moving oh disciplined they are right this type of discipline we could see in human being only in tasmak nowhere else how disciplined people they are when they were standing in front of the tasmak nowadays during the lockdown but that you might have watched in the tv um but in other places you know there is no discipline at all but this ants teaches to be anybody is there to stand in line as you are standing in when you stand in that line in the assembly you know there is one or two teachers just making you to stand in line but that ants are not taught by anyone right they are self disciplined so the ant teaches to be self disciplined in our life so similarly if you watch each and every creations of god they teach us a lot of lessons for us to follow in our life right so no so this uh, uh, jacopo is just brisk as a squirrel nicola's smile was steady and engaging yet both in these boys faces there was a seriousness which was far beyond their years though they are very brisk though they are very active though they are um, talking with them in a with a smiling face there is a a little seriousness in their face far beyond their age they are boys of 7 and six but their seriousness in their face is a little mature they behave like a mature boys in the in a week which followed we saw them frequently for they proved extremely useful to us so the next week we met them here and there and they were very helpful to us as he refers to the other and live if we wanted a pack of american cigarettes or seats for the opera opera is a um, musical 
musical concert like this, right? So just for cinema, we book ticket and go, you know, just like that for to get ticket for a musical program or the name of good restaurants. So to find out a good restaurant, to give the name of a place where we get good food, Nicola and Jacopo could be relied upon to satisfy our needs. They are very helpful to us to show the correct restaurant, good restaurant, to book a seat for the musical concert and to get cigarettes, to get some other things from the shop. All these areas, these boys were very helpful to us to satisfy our needs. When stuck one most was their willingness to work. What struck me most was I was so impressed by their willingness to work. Whenever we say something, they will never say no to it. They are very eager to do the work. The briskness, the sincerity, the love towards that work made the other felt very happy. He was really impressed, astonished by the behavior of these two small boys at the very young age of seven and six. During the summer days, under the hot sun, they shined shoes, sold fruits, hawked newspapers, conducted tourists around the town and ran errands. Ran errands? Works like this. They did some other works also. So the other was very much impressed by the behavior of these two children. And they are very serious at the small age of seven and six, which is far beyond their age. Usually at this age, the children will be playful. But here they have seriousness towards their work, love towards their work, sincerity towards their work. It was very much noted by our author. One night, we came upon them in a windy and deserted square, resting on the stone pavement beneath the lights. <coughs> Nicola sat upright, tired. A bundle of unsold newspapers lay at his feet. Jacopo, his head resting upon his brother's shoulder, was asleep. It was nearly midnight. So one midnight, the other saw this. He came to the city, the marketplace, bus stop, and there he saw the two children sitting on a stone pavement by the side of that road, they are sitting on a stone under the light. Nicola sat, sat straight, then Jacopo was leaning on his shoulder, his, since he is a little younger to this boy, younger than him. And uh, it was nearly midnight, around 12 o'clock. Why are you so late, Nicola? The other asked out so late? Why do you come here out of your um, asylum here? Why do you come here late at night? Waiting for the last bus from Pauda. We are waiting for the last bus which comes from the city Pauda. Pauda and a city in the northeastern part of Italy. So for, there is a bus which is coming very by now from powder. We shall sell all our papers when it comes in. So the, all this newspaper will be sold when this bus comes. All the people will get the bus since it is the next, going to be the next day. Must you work so hard? You both look rather tired. Why do you work till late at night? Till 12 o'clock? You both are looking so tired. That small poor boy is just leaning on your shoulder and is going to the time for them for him to sleep. You must you work so hard? What is the necessity for you to work till ten o'clock twelve o'clock from morning? For that, Jacopo said not by Jacopo, both of them said together, We are not complaining, sir. We are not complaining that you are working till uh, late night. Till 12 o'clock. We are not complaining that we are not we are tired. 
we are not complaining that we are not we have no sleep we are not complaining we got up early in the morning and started our work we are not complaining sir but next morning when i went over to the fountain to have my shoes shine i said nikola the way you and jacopo work you must earn quite a bit you spend nothing on clothes you eat little enough when i see you have meal it's usually black bread and pig tell me what do you do with your money so the other has a curiosity to know why these children are working from early morning till late night so one day the next morning he saw them selling newspapers the very next day he went over to the fountain to have his shoes polished the other asked them nikola the way you and jacopo work you must earn quite a bit you must have earned a lot of money i think that you have a lot of money in your hand you spend nothing on clothes you are earning more but you are not spending anything the clothes that you are wearing is very cheap you are not spending much on your clothes and you eat eat a little food most probably very often i saw you eating black bread and fig which is a little cheap only tell me what do you do with the remaining money why are you working so hard he colored deeply under his sunburn and then grew, grew pale when the other when the other asked the question their face became pale they were just thinking so from morning till evening we are working we are not spending much on dress we are not spending much on food it is our feet maybe he might have thought something anyway he looked to the ground he did not reply he was just looking at the ground you must be saving up to emigrate to america i suggested since the children refused to open their mouth again i asked another one question that is do you have any plan to go to america to go to other countries foreign countries especially to america do you have any plan for that you are collecting money he looked at me sideways poked with an effort he just did not get up look up he just sidewaysly looking at me he said we should greatly like to go to the states but here at present we have no we have other plans the children said we have a longing to go to the states america but at present you know we have other works to do here in india so we have no sorry in verona so we have no other plans to go to the states at present and that too they did not look up at him boldly they were just looking at him sideways and what plans what plans you have here now he smiled and comfortably just plans sir he answered in a low voice so very slowly he said how some other plans sir but the children you know refused to reveal their personal secret that secret to the father he tried to get it grasp it from the children but the children are not ready to reveal why they are working from morning till night well i said we are leaving on monday is there anything i can do for you before we go nikola shook his head but suddenly jacobo said sir he burst out every sunday we make a visit to the country to polta 30 kilometers from here usually we hire bicycles but tomorrow since you are so kind you might send us in your car and uh, the other asked see i am leaving verona on monday before that do you feel that you could get some help from me do you think that i could help you in any way do you expect any help from me if you ask for it i am ready to do this is what the other asked this most two small children for that the elder one said no sir by shooting the head he said no sir 
and the younger one says, See, sir, every Sunday we used to go to a place by name Polta, which is around 30 kilometers from here. Every Sunday we hire a bicycle and we both go to this place, crossing this 30 kilometers by bicycle. Just imagine. And uh, this Sunday, since you are so kind to us to help us, I feel that you could drop us in Polta in your car, in your plane. Right, children? Understood this much? We will see the remaining in the next class. Till then, bye. Thank you, children.